There are a few possibilities for the construction of your industrial paper sack. Most paper sacks are made of two plies, but there are also some with three or sometimes even more. And there are sacks that have just one ply, such as those used in Europe for filling weights up to 35 kilograms. When producing such multiply paper sacks, there are some things you have to keep in mind concerning the mechanical strength of the sack, especially if you have to combine different paper grades. Let's first take a look at the mechanical strength of the sack. It depends on several factors. The strength of the paper and the construction of the sack itself, such as the number of layers, the basis weight of each layer, whether there is a bottom patch and the type of valve construction. Another important factor are the climatic conditions, since the humidity of the paper can influence the mechanical strength of the sack. But as you might have guessed, the most important factor for a multi-layer sack is the number of layers. There is no problem combining white and brown layers, as well as layers with different grammage or different strength properties. What you do have to take into account, however, are the stretching properties of the individual layers. Let's take a closer look at the effects of combining paper with different stretch properties. If you have a paper sack with two or more layers, you might think that you have to add the TEA of the individual layers, but this is not correct. Let's see what happens when the layers have a significant difference in stretch. In this case, the load will be unevenly distributed and the layer with the lower stretch will be more heavily loaded, which can cause the sack to break. So, you should not combine layers with significantly different stretch, because the layer with the lowest stretch will break first. Here are some figures based on a study carried out in our laboratory using two-ply sacks with different longitudinal elongations. A semi-extensible paper was combined with a flat craft paper and both layers had different longitudinal elongations. The blue bars show the added test results of the individual layers, which were used as a reference for comparison. In a further step, the same layers were tested together. The results show the impact on the mechanical strength of such a sack construction. The greater the difference of the elongation of the layers, the clearer the reduction in the mechanical strength of the sack. So again, you should never combine paper layers with different elongation. This also means that if possible, you should try not to combine papers from different suppliers in one construction. For further information, get in touch with us or visit the Mondi Go to Sack app.